So this is a video for GTA car kits and today we're going to be installing a GTA car kit into a uh, 2007 uh, Toyota Yaris and it's the same uh, installation procedure from 2005 up to 2011 Yaris so uh, the tools that you'll need is uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver uh, clip removal tool and uh, the bolts are kind of far uh, so I would also recommend using a magnet but this screwdriver is magnetized so it's easy to get the bolts out but if your screwdriver is not magnetized it's better to have a, a magnet and so we'll start off by using our clip removal tool and we're gonna have to remove these two uh, side panels and we'll start off from the bottom there's a clip here so you can even kind of pull it away with the with your hands and uh, just unclip it I'll show you where the clips are same pull it with your hands it's all held on clips so on this side as you can see there's a clip here a clip on top and uh, there's uh, four more here see so when you're taking it off same on, on you don't have to disconnect it just kind of put it to the side so we'll do the same on this side kind of pull it with our hand and it just comes off first time it's going to be a little harder but because we took this one off already it comes off easier. The next step is to remove this uh, top panel and uh, it has clips going on top, two going there and uh, three going inside this uh, uh, panel. So we'll start off at the top. I don't think I even might need my tool and kind of pull it towards you. Just like that. And it comes off and uh, the clips here there's three on top the two main ones uh, over here going uh, inside these ones so watch out for that just gonna put it to the side next step is to remove this uh, black trim around the radio and uh, to do that it's also held on clips we'll need our uh, clip removal tool we'll start at the bottom uh, make sure you don't scratch anything and it comes off there's uh, two clips here on top you can just pull on it it will come off see there's uh, two here and uh, four over here and uh, one in the middle and the bottom so start off in the bottom and uh, work your way up. Also there's these ones but they don't hold that much. The pink ones are the clips that are really holding this piece inside. So you're just going to put it. The next step is to remove the radio. And uh, it's held on by four screws. There's uh, one here and one on top. Same on this side. There's one here and uh, one on top so we're gonna go ahead with our Phillips screwdriver and remove those you can also use a 8 millimeter socket if you by any chance strip the bolts but uh, we're gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna go ahead and remove those uh, bolts uh, so now we removed the uh, four uh, bolts uh, or kind of screws holding this radio and uh, now the radio will just slide out it's nice and easy uh, over here on the back uh, this is the open port that we are going to be using for uh, for our auxiliary or the GTA car kit plug in and uh, I have to take uh, our GTA car kit we already assembled it uh, it looks like this, has a module in the middle uh, the cable that goes to the back of the radio is connected on one side on the other side you have uh, the 
cable that goes to the iPod and also auxiliary uh, but uh, the, this cable uh, we're not putting in uh, the auxiliary cable we're just gonna be running the iPod cable so we're gonna go ahead take this white uh, connector make sure this uh, the kind of the clip is facing down and that's how you have to plug in into the back of the radio take it and we just go and plug it in like that click click it in <clears throat> when you plug it in make sure that you turn on the car and then uh, kind of turn on the ignition and turn it off and wait for a couple minutes so this uh, module sets in like kind of resets it and uh, because sometimes uh, uh, it would it would not recognize it if you don't turn it off and wait for it so make sure you turn it off and before you put everything together you gotta test it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, Take our <coughs> iPhone 4, plug it in. So right, right now we're in the uh, FM mode. We're gonna press the disc button, and uh, the first time you press it, it's gonna be a re regular CD changer. But when you press it the second time, it's gonna say CD1. And uh, as you can see, it's. Uh, <coughs> It's charging the iPod. <clears throat> so when you're in, it says uh, disk four. You get, we're gonna go ahead to disk one. And disk one, it's a re regular open uh, iPod. You can switch songs from here, or you can switch the songs from the radio. As you can see, it's switching the songs. If, if your car would have uh, steering wheel controls, if it was a loaded version, it could also use your steering wheel controls, it would also switch the songs. Uh, the features that work are, if, if you go to disc 2, that's going to be your first playlist. And if you see, if you press the text button, it's going to say uh, playlist 1. And uh, the song name, if it was in English. And from this mode, you can also switch the songs. So if you have more than uh, you have more playlists, it's gonna recognize all of them. So you're gonna go to disc three. So that's your second playlist. It says right here if you press the text button, and so on. And uh, the next step you need to do is once you test it and see that everything works, is uh, go ahead and uh, run the cable. And uh, in this car, it's best to run the cable to the uh, this bottom pocket here and uh, it's really easy because there's uh, once you remove everything over here there's uh, that's the top part of this pocket so you can just stick your drill in here and drill a hole and run the cable uh, that way and uh, after you do that, you can uh, put everything together, make sure everything works before you put everything together. And uh, this is a video for uh, gtacarkits.com and we'll see you next time.